Today on 2 Minute IT Jams, we are joined by Arjun Narayan, CEO of Materialize. Materialize is a fast, distributed SQL database built on streaming internals. Arjun joins us today to explain how a streaming database works and what Materialize offers to its customers. Thank you for coming along, Arjun, and welcome to the Jam. Thank you very much for having me. I'm glad to be here. So what exactly is Materialize and what is a streaming database? I think you got it uh, quite right. Materialize is a streaming database that looks like a regular SQL database, except built on streaming internals. Now, why might you want something like that? Um, traditionally, people are familiar with largely two classes of databases. They have their transactional databases, your Postgres, your MySQL, your Oracles, right, where you put data in, you get data out, and it's sort of the workhorse of your application stack. And folks typically also have an analytics database, your Snowflakes, your BigQueries, uh, your Redshifts. Uh, what people use to data mine, to, to analyze and inspect and get complex answers to complex questions. Um, and typically, they move data from the transactional database to the analytics database about once a day, if, if you know, at best, or um, maybe maybe once every few hours if they're running this continuously. But oftentimes, a lot slower than that too. You know, uh, once every few days or once a week, um, which means that the answers that people get out of their analytics databases are a lot slower and a lot more out of date than they would ideally like. And this is for a good reason because. Uh, most people are faced with this compromise where they could build a real-time stack. Um, there are stream processors for this. If you've heard of Apache Kafka, Apache Flink, people have built complex microservices using a pile of Java code and uh, Kafka and Flink and, and stream processors like that to build a parallel pipeline that is real-time. Now, of course, when building or getting involved in building something complicated like this, you have to put in a ton of resources. And so the real premise of Materialize is what if it was as easy to build real-time, always up-to-date experiences using a database um, that people are already familiar with that was as easy to use as the analytics databases that people use today in Batch, um, except that it was always up-to-date in real-time and live as of milliseconds. What would you build? It's not just that you would have your analytics um, always fresh, which is, of course, a, a place where a lot of our customers and users start. Right? It's oftentimes the first place that they think of deploying a streaming database to just have their batch answers live and, and real time. But what are the new experiences that you would build? What are the, how would you roll this analytics information, the machine learning, back into your application when it can inspect all of the data that you've already seen uh, through your transactional analytical systems but always be up to date? And why is Materialize necessary in the industry today? Today, it's really complicated and hard to build real-time experiences. You have to use Kafka, Flink, and all these complex microservices. Uh, the word streaming oftentimes elicits a bunch of groans from developers who go, oh, I got to build a lot of, inf built and maintain a lot of infrastructure just to get that first bit of real-time experience back in my application. And we want to avoid all of that. We want to make it really easy to build real-time experiences using the SQL that people know and already love, right? So Materialize looks and feels like Postgres. Um, it's uh, built on top of foundationally different streaming internals than traditional databases. So it does have a fully uh, state-of-the-art stream processor under the hood, but from the user experience, it is uh, just the same SQL. It looks and feels like Postgres. Fantastic. And how will streaming data enable new types of real-time applications? We think that users, they may begin very much with taking traditional batch analytics and making it real time, but really changes the kinds of things that you would want to build or that it expands the possibility space of your application. I think there are a few mm, tech forward companies, mainly in Silicon Valley, that have deployed the cutting edge of streaming data in their application. You could think of the dynamic pricing that Uber does when um, you know, the supply and demand conditions change in a given city. That is all done today with streaming data that is being continuously recomputed. Uh, but uh, in order to move beyond just the few companies that are able to build and deploy 
hundreds of micro streaming microservices at scale to sort of the entire economy of, of every single company taking advantage and building the same real-time experiences is going to require tools like Materialize that make it simple and easy to build without really changing and ripping apart your whole enterprise architecture and rebuilding on top of a new technology. And when it comes to users, what teams are you selling to? Who benefits most from this offering? Primarily data teams that today are using uh, a Snowflake or a DBT, uh, building and deploying analytics models. And when they really want to move that to production, when they have an insight, insights typically happen in, in batch, right? You're looking at some data that you have, your past customer transactions, your past uh, website activity, and go, ah, if only we were doing this with, with this when they were on our website. When you have that moment of insight, uh, deploying that into production becomes a real hurdle because your traditional batch analytics stack is unable to surface that back into your application the same day even, when really you need to deploy that back within milliseconds or seconds. Um, that's where something like Materialize can really help you because you take that exact same SQL and put it into production on top of the live changing data without really having to rebuild or re-architect your entire enterprise architecture. And what does the future hold for Materialize? Um, we uh, have a wonderful cloud product uh, that looks and feels really like the cloud analytics data warehouses that you already know and love. Uh, and our hope is that every business will become a real-time business because if you could have real-time with the same ease as you today have once a day batch analytics and you really don't have to re-architect and it was not ex not more expensive, in, in fact in many, time, many cases it's actually cheaper. If it was faster and it was cheaper, why wouldn't you opt to have this ubiquitous uh, through your organization servicing the most up-to-date data. And so that's really our, our hope is to make any every business be a real-time up-to-date business. If people want to get in touch with Materialize to find out more, what's the best way to reach you? Uh, you can always find us on our website, www.materialize.com, where you can sign up for access to our cloud product and check it out yourself. Well, it's been fantastic to hear more about how Materialize works and the exciting plans that you have for the future. Thank you so much for joining us on The Jam, Arjun.